So guys, let's talk about instructions uh, on how to install your um, uh, V-mount and Gold-mount universal quick-release plate from NITS. Uh, so let's start off with the uh, four M3 screws uh, that comes with it. Uh, I believe this is a uh, the wrench size is a 2.5. Uh, for the sake of this video, I am going to use my own, so it's much quicker. Um, so all you got to do is grab uh, one right now, and you will line it up with the M3 holes on your E2. Uh, for the meantime, just keep it uh, loose while you get everything lined up first. Okay, so that's it. Uh, this one bracket is good to go. Uh, now let's talk about the back plate for the nits. So you have a few options. So mine, I normally use my uh, custom version of my Ansel plate. So this plate actually is a, uh, a V-mount plate which uh, gives out 16 volts uh, to the uh, breakaway cable, but this one is actually a, uh, a 8 volt regulated dummy battery, NPF battery, which goes to the back of the camera. And you also have a uh, 2.1 um, 2.1 uh, female uh, plug which you can power your monitor or an accessory you need, but this is gonna be a 16 volts out. So maybe let's talk about this one first, installation. So the kit comes with two quarter 20 um, screws. So all you have to do is, uh, for existing uh, users, is uh, put the uh, plate right here, put the, uh, and then line it up, okay? And this, we'll use this one right here. This is maybe a number four. Okay. Uh, this one now goes in the back of the camera. Okay. And as you can see, there's actually uh, holes here on the side which the cable will go in. And that's it. You're good to go. You got to lose, mount your V mount battery. That's it. That's for the uh, Ansel plate. Also guys, I forgot to mention that the Ansel plate that I make um, is actually hot swappable ready. Uh, it has this function. So let's just say you have your V-mount battery installed, right? And uh, we'll turn on the camera since we are powering this to the uh, NPF dummy battery. So uh, let's just say if you need to replace the battery on a set, all you gotta do is plug in the Alvin's Cable D tap. What are you doing? I am recording, buddy. Wow! <laughs> what a nice voice I thought. I know, baby. Okay, alright, so all you gotta do is plug this in right here and remove the battery and replace the battery. And that's it, you're good to go. So next up, let's go ahead and work with you. So there's two, uh, the head box units. So I have two versions right here. So this one is actually the uh, plain version, which you can get for $99. Uh, and you also have this, I think, I believe this is 125 bucks, but it comes with a breakaway cable. Now the breakaway cable, this is actually, uh, the power output on this uh, is our input is actually a 25 watts, it's a 2.1 amp, 25 watts breakaway cable. So this is actually 12 volts. So uh, this actually uh, mounts uh, on the back of the plate and then it goes in the limo port of your camera. Now for the uh, plain version without the um, a breakaway cable, you can always use Alvin's Cable's um, limo to detap. So you can plug this on the camera and then this one to the side. So let's go ahead and demonstrate. So the head box will come with four M3 screws again. So let's see if this is the same size, okay. So all you gotta do is line up the four holes. Okay, actually Alvin, I sent this uh, uh, unit to Alvin and have him install a uh, limo plug right here for the E2. 
Okay, so now it's installed. Uh, the backplate and this backplate is now installed on the unit's head box. Uh, so if you want, you can always add a 750 battery or 550 battery inside, right? So for those uh, people who does uh, running gunning, all I gotta do is plug this one in. The limo, power. there and all you gotta do is attach the back plate and there you go so now you have a head box uh, v-mount plate and it's powered by your limo right here okay so let's go ahead and uh, install the battery right now all right of course that's gonna turn on camera's gonna turn on Okay, so the camera's turned on uh, because I think uh, every time that the, uh, I think the camera will recognize the limo port first uh, before the, um, the MPF battery. So let's just say the, the camera is on right now. Uh, if you need to hot swap, right, all you gotta do, so the camera's on, all you gotta do is take it out. Okay, battery now is transferred to the NPF mount. And if you need a new battery, all I gotta do Swap it in, and there you go. So now it goes back, the camera goes back to the V-mount battery. Awesome, right? Right, so we got the uh, back plate together with the head box Unix. So all you gotta do is I think first I suggest you go ahead and plug your Limo first. There you go, and then all you gotta do is put this one in the back. There we go. And we turn this around. And maybe this one right here, maybe you can find something shorter. But I actually normally go like this. Of course, once you plug this one right here, right now the camera is gonna turn on. Okay. If you install the battery. There you go guys. So, camera's on right now. You need to hot swap, take it out. There we go, camera's still on. If you need new battery, all you gotta do is put it on. There you go. So if you need to use this on a gimbal, all you have to do is take this one out, unplug the limo, maybe take out your handle have a handle and boom you know take out the top handle the monitor whatever you need to do and this one you can mount on the gimbal so that's it folks by the way guys um, just a heads up that you cannot buy this um, uh, Ansel plate uh, anywhere actually I have to uh, disassemble and reassemble customize this to work on the E2 so uh, this one right here is actually built around, uh, well actually it's for uh, the NITS adapter and actually uh, expanded to have the Headbox Unix work with it. So if you still want something like this, I can still sell this for a hundred bucks. Again, I'm not making money off this. Uh, I'm actually buying this whole, with no wholesale price from a seller on eBay. Uh, also this one right here is from Alvin's Cable. Um, there's no discount. Um, so I have to, uh, you know, disassemble and assemble this to work for the E2. Um, and if you want something simple with just a DC out to power your monitor, you know, uh, this is probably a good solution for you. Uh, but if you want something, you know, uh, a little more robust as far as uh, connection, uh, for power connection, then you use the Headbox Unix. Um, I actually love this one right here because it has the uh, breakaway cable. Um, so it's up to you uh, what you want to use um, but if I need something to power uh, more accessories then I would definitely use this one right here um, but yes uh, let me know if you guys want this uh, send me a message PM me uh, uh, put a comment and uh, I'll, I'll order more parts for it so I can go ahead and make more 
and uh, we'll go ahead and do transactions on PayPal. I don't have a website, so yeah.